Hello, I'm Gary Bichek, Chairman of the Governmental Affairs Subteam of the Fairland Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to FairlandVotes.com, an advocacy initiative of the Governmental Relations Subteam. This program enables you to go to the FairlandVotes.com website to review pre-submitted questions individually answered by each candidate. You will also find a short video of each candidate, thus giving you an opportunity to listen to their views on various issues pertaining to their realm of responsibility. Today we have with us Quentin Wilts, one of the three candidates running for City Council Position 1. Quentin, thank you for agreeing to participate on ParentVotes.com. No problem, thank you, Gary. Tell us a little bit about your background and your involvement in the City of Parallel. Thank you for having me today again. Um, I am currently a project manager for a global energy solutions company. Um, I'm also a certified process improvement engineer. And I've been involved in the community for nearly seven years or so, mm -hmm. as long as I've been here. Um, been actively involved with uh, the Chamber of Commerce on the board of directors. I'm the current chair of the Paraland Parks and Recreation Beautification Board. And I've also donated a lot of my time and commitment to various local uh, community organizations. I'm a proud husband, a father, and a man of faith in this community. Good. So Quentin, in your discussions with your voters, what concern or issues have been raised that, that have surprised you the most? Well Gary, it's, it's, it's interesting that you say that because uh, the whole uh, purpose of uh, this video this interview mm -hmm. is Paraland Votes and that by far has been the biggest concern addressed by many of the residents here. Uh, first, many of the residents say they're, they're, they're stifled that there even, even is a, an election in May. Uh, the other is depending on whether where some of our, our residents do live, um, they don't even know if are the, if they have the ability to vote. And that is troubling to me and to many of our citizens, not just voters here in this community, because whether or not you have the power to vote, you do live here and you do affect the lives of all the citizens here. Absolutely, so, so what are your suggestions for trying to deal with this? Well, first off, um, as, as, as a active member in the community, Every opportunity I get is to educate and, and engage our citizens. I don't think that it is a lack of ambition to get out and vote. I truly believe that people do not understand and need to be educated as to what they're voting for. I think that is the ultimate um, way to increase our voter participation and increase our engagement engagement in, in the community. Quentin, thank you for participating today and allowing your voters to learn more about you and your platform. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Gary. Please remember to exercise your responsibility to vote on May the 11th. Early voting begins April 29th. Tell all your friends and all your family to get out and vote. I'm Gary Buchek. Thank you for using ParalandVotes.com.